This is a good day for us. We are launching a report that um, essentially talks about the intricate relationship uh, between national security and uh, civic space. And what we see around the world and true here in Kenya is a security overreach harming civic space. So what we are trying to do is to support human rights organizations and civil society to first of all carry out research themselves to diagnose the nature of that security overreach. Through the engagements that we have had today, I have uh, learned and understood the importance of collaboration, uh, not uh, competing, or the importance of complementing each other and working together. I think most of the things that we discussed have been captured. Most of the recommendations on the need for counties to have budgets for to implement the CAPS in their annual development plans and in the, in the CIDPs. One of the things that this study found us is that the trust between communities and civil society on one hand and that of the government has improved particularly when the county action plans were formed and the NCTC and other government structures became more open to engage the civil society. An absence of this work actually targeting local needs, so we need to actually ensure that we have a lot of community-based organizations receiving support to counter this work, and particularly support for CVE initiatives to ensure that these CVE initiatives actually respond to the local needs and address the, you know, the sort of contemporary challenges, including the use of national security justifications. I think we need to relook into the PVE approach generally in Kenya. I have a feeling that there's a lot of laxity now, that very little PVE work is going on because there's this, there's this belief that it is over. So we're delighted to see the conversation that happened here today at the launch of the research. Lots of very useful input from civil society actors across the different counties and at the national level.